yo check it out boomba part back again with a new video and welcome to this studio tour and as you can see it's quite dark so let's turn on some lights i got my key light i got another one and another one and another one so yeah welcome to the studio tour 2022 yeah let's take it from the top right behind me i have some poles in the ceiling and they are from gravity now i have two poles and they were very kind to send another one the poles have really made everything possible to keep everything clean on the floor no cables it's a really nice investment if you have a small space and uh, you can have it from the floor to the ceiling uh, i've had it in my old apartment uh, or if you have the space in the ceiling pole from gravity love it right here i have my my key light from Godox and this is the SL100. It's a really bright light and right now I have it on, let's see, I think I have it on like, like 40%. I have a diffuser as well as a diffuser grid so uh, without it, uh, it will be much brighter and uh, but this is a lot more softer. Now we're blasting at 100. It's doing a really nice job to light up pretty much my whole studio space. This is my RGB uh, LED panel from Newer and this is a bicolor panel from Newer uh, where you can set the Kelvin from 32 to 5600. All of these lights can be controlled by an app on your phone so that's really nice so yeah i'm gonna bring you a little bit closer and we can talk about everything i have this is my studio corner and let's begin with my computer screen it's an lg ultra wide 34 inch ips screen works great my monitor controller from palmer uh, monicon xl I've been using this for quite a while, love it. And um, audio interface from Arturia, the Minifuse 2. And I have my little pocket operator from Teenage Engineering with a case from Crema Cafe, uh, a really nice one. I have a video with this one on the channel if you haven't seen it. Speakers from Palmer, um, the Studio Mom 5, sounds great. And underneath here we have the SP404 Mark II from Roland. Uh, a really nice device. I have my Machine Plus from Native Instruments. I never thought I would go with the standalone, but I really enjoy working standalone, not using the computer while making beats. And it's sitting on a stand from Gravity. It's a DJ stand that I have. This is super sturdy, but I could use this tray if I wanted to. Let's say I have a setup uh, with a little interface or something small like, I don't know. Of course, you can see some wobble if you smashing uh, the pads for sure, um, but it's doing the job pretty well. Really recommend this DJ stand if you want to save some space, have more gear. I have it hooked up to my color shelf and it's, it's sitting pretty tight, so yeah. And here's a new addition to the studio, JX08. Uh, I haven't really unboxed this one. Uh, I've opened it up and it's super cute. This one is super cute. And uh, I'm waiting for a keyboard module uh, so I can hook this one up. And the plan is to have this one underneath uh, my Machine Plus uh, and move the SP404 up to the desk. And yeah, speaking about the desk, uh, this is my desk from Selka. Um, the electro desk, quite small but as you can see my setup is not that. So this is the desk from Selka, Jimba board. It's an active board so I can stand and do some exercise. Yeah, what else? I have my Ronin SC from DJI. It's easy to operate and I can just use the app to set some start points and end points and uh, yeah, make some interesting clips and let's move on i got my c2 mixer 
from Native Instruments and I got my Reloop RP7000 MK2. Some records, yeah, let's talk about what I have on the shelf. The Biodynamic DT770 Pro uh, and they are on a hanger from Gravity. On the shelf, first we have the Verse Lab M1 from Roland. Um, I really like this unit. Uh, I need to make some more beats on it. Uh, we got the MC101 uh, from Roland as well. Love messing around with this one. Uh, so this is a really, really nice groove box. Uh, next up we have the Key Step 37 from Arturia. Uh, I love the Key Step keyboards. This one. The mic system I've been using, the Blink 500 Pro. And yeah, I really like this Lavalier system. I also have this one. Uh, this is the HM from Ceremonic. Uh, in case you're doing some interviews or wanna do videos like this, uh, you just place your transmitter on this side and put the windscreen on and boom you have a microphone, a wireless microphone if you don't want to use like a lavalier. Almost forgot, I do have a light from a company called Star Trading. This is not sponsored or anything, but I searched the web and I wanted to have something underneath that wasn't that bulky. And I found this one from Star Trading and this is a motion sensor thing. Um, really nice and neat and I can also dim it if I want. So it's super nice to have if I wanted to work like late and don't want to blast all my, my lightings. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, yeah, this gooseneck from Gravity and uh, a quick release plate from Yulansi that I'm rocking with my camera, the Canon M50. Um, mm. So yeah, before we go, I want to thank all of you subscribers and all the new subscribers um, who've been subscribing to this channel. I'm super grateful. We're almost at 20K. I don't know what to say. I'm humbly grateful. And I also want to say thanks to all the companies I've been working with or collaborating with. With that said, bada bing, bada boom. Catch you in the next one.